Andrea, Brett, we have waited for this day for some time. And you know, your parents, when you're so small and born, mom and dad pray, oh Lord, we love our daughter so much. We pray that someday there will be a man to love her and care for her more than we do. Your prayers are answered. God is very, very generous. Having a son, the same. Lord, we're so grateful for our son. We love him very much. May he find a woman that will love him and care for him more than we do. God is so generous. So hello everyone, good evening. Um, I am beyond grateful to be here. I am the bride's best friend and maid of honor. We go all the way back to braces, flip phones. We've survived Venezuelan slash Colombian parents. So you would think I know this girl, this beautiful, smart, charismatic, hilarious, adventurous, caring, thoughtful woman. My ride or die, and I would say that I do, for the most part. The one area that this best friend of mine always kept me guessing was in the relationship department. You know, Andrea's more of the outgoing type, right? She likes to travel, try different things, more adventurous. You know, Brett, Brett's more of the cautious fellow. He's not too adventurous, more laid back, doesn't like flying too much. You know, to sum it up, Brett's like an 80-year-old stuck in a 34-year-old's body. About 10 or 12 years ago, uh, Brett moved to Orlando. You know, we kept in contact, and we'd see each other a couple times a year. And, you know, I would always nudge him and, and try to bug him to come back down to Miami, but it was to no avail. And apparently all it took was a beautiful young lady named Andrea. And it didn't take long, to be more precise, it didn't take more than two dates until, you know, he told me she was the one. And you got to understand, for Brett, for a guy like Brett, who liked to take his time to think about things and, and ponder on things, that was a big deal. Brett, always thank God for your beloved. It's not even possible to, to make God bored with all your prayers for Andrea. I believe there are three characteristics that you need to be successful in marriage. Um, one is humility. You need to have the humility to acknowledge your own flaws. All right? Two is patience. You've got to have the patience to allow yourself to change. And three, you have to have the desire for continuous improvement. Right? You always got to want to get better. A wise man once told me, uh, love is a decision, not a feeling. And it made me realize that love is, is a deliberate process. Right? Um, and, and it takes a lot of work. You might even say, Lord, I'm not boring you, am I? And the Lord says, I love hearing from you. Why do you think I gave you such a marvelous gift? I like hearing you say, Lord, I am the most blessed man on this planet. But how can I express my appreciation? I mean, how can I show you? Take care of the gift. Music is the driving force. It's what gets the party started. It's the pulse, it's the heartbeat of the actual wedding itself. And there's emotional connection to music. Like I want people to be able to look back at our wedding and remember at that given time where they were when they heard that particular song. And we're planning on playing a lot of old school music. So be able to touch on the emotional side for people to remember where they were or those times that they were feeling back in the early 2000s and to be able to bring that to the forefront of our wedding I'm just I'm We're excited about that with a lot of our high school and college friends and to like bring all of these old school songs back I just can't wait to see everyone's faces and emotions when the beat drops but a fateful bumble swipe to the right brought a specimen of a human to Andrea's life a gentleman through and through with a heart of gold a glorious family an intellect that keeps Andrea on her toes and after today, seeing their beautiful union, I can finally say, I know this girl. So let's raise our glasses 
to the two most incredibly intelligent, thoughtful, caring, most badass people we know. Love you both so much. Congratulations. We always talked about wanting to start a record collection, and I was like, no question about it. We have <laughs> to start this off with a college dropout, our shared love for Kanye. We had that shared connection, like we were on the same wavelength when it came to music. And then to be able to get that as a like a, a gift, the actual vinyl itself. And for it to be our first yeah. one, the perfect uh, shared gift. Yeah, representation like. of our love for music and to start off our, our collection that hopefully will keep growing for the rest of our lives. Yeah. My dear friends. You have come together in this church so that in the presence of the church's minister and your family, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with what? A sacred seal. Hi, Brett. Take you, Andrea, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Andrea, take you, Brett, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. My friends, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Dufford. Make some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Dufford!